Hi, this is a short video on how to use Topaz Remask. I've had a few people ask how I get the results I do with it, and they've had a few difficulties using it. So, uh, we're going to go through this pretty quick. This is a picture of my friend Vikas, and um, I'm going to just take the background out. And I have some gray skies that I purchased from um, uh, Bellevue Avenue. And so we'll drop one of those in. So here we go. Um, I'm going to just go filter. I'm going to go down to my t Topaz Remask. Click on that. It's going to open up a new browser. Here we go. Now, it originally will make... Um, the fill as green which means keep so the first step I do is I change that fill to the blue which means undecided so then I take my green selector and I'm just it's, it's this is really fast I mean once you learn this tool look how fast I'm moving here I'm just like making big X's on these areas that I'd like to select and then I'm going to, with the red, make big X's on the areas I want to get rid of. And now I'm going to compute my mask. Happens really fast. We're computing. And look, it does a pretty good job just right off the bat. I'm just going to make some little lines on these areas that I don't want in my selection. Usually you don't have to color it in. Looks like I need to here. Just fill that in. Fill this area in. Fill that area in. Very good. Go back with the green. it takes a few minutes to compute let it catch up with me here a second compute 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 This is really so much faster and simpler than making a clipping mask by hand. Really does a good job. Oh, it kind of went out of the lines. If you go out of lines, you can just go back and undo. There we go. Make my tool a little smaller. Make sure I get all this detail on the shoulder. Hit this again. That. Hit that. Now we can go and look at it there. I want to take a little bit more out here. So I'm going to just click in these little tight areas to remove just a little bit more. And then that little area between his pants needs to come out. Go in here, put this back in, put it back in. Looks pretty clean. I think for the gray skies I'm putting in there, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to go OK. Put my bottom one. I'm going to slide that gray skies in there. Size it up. Slide it in. Let's see where I want that horizon to land. Alrighty then. Place it. Move it around a little bit. Now, of course, like when I finish compositing, I do a little bit more blending. Um, make it look, look a little bit more natural light but basically this is like how fast I cut the images out for compositing 
um, using Topaz Remask, which is like a pretty awesome, a uh, pretty awesome little tool if you do a lot of compositing. You can put any picture you want behind him. It's all gonna look nice. There we go, some different skies. All right, it goes pretty fast and easy. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.